Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. How do I save variables between maps? This is a pretty simple video. I'm just going to cover a few different things in regards to saving variables between maps and show you the basic way of doing it and what may go wrong if you do it other ways. So when I play my example, I have on my player a score variable and as I collect each coin it goes up. Now when I go through either door, I'm going to go to a different map and you'll notice the score variable changes back to zero. Because the score variable is on the player, if we were to go to our player and look at how the code's set up, it's a score variable on the player, the player is going to get regenerated every time we change maps and we're going to lose our score. And that's the problem. So we want to know how to fix it. Let me show you how to fix it and then let me show you a few other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the game instance. Using the game instance, you can think of it as basically a item that is persistent when your game starts and will maintain persistency. And if I pull up my game instance that I'm using, if I can figure out where it is, it's right here. All it is is it contains a simple variable called player score, and that's it. When I pick up an item, we're going to update the player score inside of our game instance, and we're going to update the user interface to show the same thing. So let me run this again, and we'll collect some items. We got three coins. We'll go into our blue door or green door, and you'll notice we still have three coins. I could pick up a few more. Let's go ahead and clear out this level, and we'll go into our red door. We can pick up a couple more. We're at 11, 12, 13, 14. We'll go to 15, and we're still good. Now here's a small issue. Let's go back to our blue door. Well, all of our coins are back, and we still have 15 points. Whether that's the intention of what you want your game to do, we're not storing the status of our items inside of our maps. We're simply updating a variable inside of our game instance called player score and we're adding one every time we pick something up. Because the game instance is created when the game starts and maintains persistency throughout maps, it's a simple way of how do I save variables between levels. Because that's all we're attempting to accomplish here. For example, you might not allow your player to go back, but you want to keep the score persistent, well the game instance is where you would put it. So that way when you change maps, you never lose your score. So that summarizes basically how to do it and how we would use it. It's the game instance. <clears throat> now I have a couple other things here I just want to show you just for informational sakes. Anything we store inside of our player, our character here, will be gone if we lose the character. So that's something to keep in mind. If we were to keep this our score inside of our character, an enemy killed our character, and our character was literally destroyed. We use the destroy actor node. Destroy actor node. It's going to get rid of our score variable, and it's gone. So you might want to think about where you're going to put variables. Well, local variable storage. Let's try to... Wow, I don't know. That was spelled horribly. There we go. You will need to think about where you want to store things in terms of persistency. So we covered how the player is persistent to itself. When the player is gone, anything inside of it goes away. The game instance is persistent to the entire game. Once it starts, it creates it, and it will stay persistent. Now we have technically two other things. We have a player controller, and we have a game state. The player controller will stay persistent basically... Um, the entire time unless you swap out player controllers. So you can think of the player controller as you, the person behind your keyboard, and you can think of the player character as the character you're playing in the game. If the character gets destroyed, it would lose anything on it, maybe inventory or anything specific, maybe ammo. However, your score you might want to store in the player controller because when you respawn, you're still going to have the same controller and you'll keep your score. Now the game state is another mode that is stored with the map basically. So if the player controller is removed, we still have it inside the game state. So if you notice, it's kind of a little hierarchy. Local storage only to the item inside of our blueprint in the character. Local to the controller, which will persist if the character goes away. 
local to the map, which will persist as long as your map is still loaded. So if your controller goes away or your character goes away, we still have values in the game state. And then if your map goes away, we have the values inside of our game instance. Now beyond this, we technically have our save game object. The save game object is persistent among play sessions. So for example, if you quit the game and load it back up, anything you saved in your save game object can then be restored. That is also how you would handle us going from one map to another and then once we come back to that map, having our items disappear. Now that will be covered in a separate video. Look for the concept video for persistent storage. And we will show you how to basically go from one map to another, have it store items you may have interacted with, and then when you load the map back up, reset those items. That is a separate video that will be covered separately. But this is pretty much going to wrap up our how do I save variables between maps.